little bit about how this became Oscar nominated and what that whole process was like. Uh, we were, we had screened the film, Tribeca Film Festival, that's where it premiered, and then it went uh, on the New York Times Op Doc site, and people started responding to it around the country, and we were getting really lovely comments from people that we would all read every day. And uh, it was just really heartwarming to see people respond to the film so well. And then uh, with the New York Times, we started organizing more screenings, and then the uh, film played in the Pasadena Theater, uh, for a week, which was great. So folks had a chance to see it. And then there's the process of uh, making it onto the short list of documentary short subjects. Um, yeah, there was 100 films, like, what was it, like 100, a little down to 10. And so there was that, well, that was very exciting. And then we went from 10 to five. There's a very lovely and embarrassing video of us all together when they made the announcement at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> We're in Paul and Millie's living room, and we're watching the TV like this with Max and Elena, who are also in the film. And when they, you know, they do it alphabetically, so walk around Cha Cha's last. <laughs> we're all just sitting there waiting, and then when they, they just got the word walk out of their mouth, and we all just exploded. <laughs> and so, yes, there's a very embarrassing video online if anybody wants <laughs> And that, that's kind of how it happened. Did you want to add something? Um, I, 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 I was very, very happy and very surprised on that morning of the uh, Oscar uh, nomination announcement, and we were part, of, our film is part of that. Uh, that it was happening also uh, on the, the morning of my celebration party the night before, which is, was a party to celebrate my 40 years living in America the night before. We have a really good party renting, renting the hall in Rosemead uh, <laughs> Garden Center. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and then also that night we celebrate um, our wedding anniversary, 30 years. And then also celebrating her birthday. And then the, the, the next day, it was the Oscar nomination. So how, how can I say you're not excited for that? <laughs> Thank you. And, and so, I don't know, you read about um, those nominees for the Oscars and how they go through so many kinds of different uh, events. I mean, tell us what, uh, what that is like, uh, going through that whole nomination process. <laughs> it's quite involved. I think we did, um, 20 screenings probably in New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Um, we had to fundraise privately to be able to, to make that happen. Um, we also were doing um, advertising on the radio and whatever we could afford. We did not have a very large budget and we were up against Netflix and, and also MTV and A&E. And so the New York Times is a very well-known entity, but they don't, they're not a traditional distribution company that puts millions of dollars into a campaign and we're up against films that there's literally millions of dollars that are put into their Oscar campaign. So we, we're doing ours very grassroots and, and I think what we kept hearing from people was that the film was just very moving to them emotionally and it also was hopeful. So it's about a, it's about a serious subject but it's also a hopeful story and, I, and we were also the only love story of, of all the films and I think that 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 helped us, but it's a very long and political process. I've never run for office, and um, I had an idea about what it might be like to actually campaign, and it's hard. It's really hard. And what was it like on Oscar night? Did you meet someone famous? We, should, we brought Paul and Millie to the luncheon. They have a, a something called a nominee luncheon where everybody who's nominated gets to go, and I was going around and campaigning and shaking hands and meeting everybody. Meanwhile, these guys met every single celebrity in the room. I did not, I did not meet one celebrity, not one. And we got into the car at the end, and they were like, oh, look at our photos. And like, they were with Brad Pitt, with Robert De Niro, with Renee Zellweger, with Quentin Tarantino, with Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, they, 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 it's amazing. They met everyone. OK, I have to hear about your experiences here. Laura got the tigers to be the paparazzi for this. 
Uh, uh, during that luncheon, it was a very great experience. Uh, being able to have the opportunity to be in a room with so many talented people, hear all, all the people qualify, nominate for the Oscar, and more importantly, like you said, is a great actor, right? Uh, those was, my wife couldn't resist, so she went around and helped them. <laughs> so I was the photographer to take those pictures. <laughs> In a few instances, I try to selfie myself. So I don't want to exclude myself, but then the result, the photo result was bad. I decided I sacrificed myself and I take the picture of her and her only. Um, well, it's a very great experience. And Nora and Colette. For one time, we see talking with the, all the film directors, so we have time to experiment. And then we chasing the star, <laughs> and then um, I don't know. I have the gut to ask them, so can I take a picture with you? And then I, I guess they used to that, and then they say okay, and then very very diplomatic, and then take a picture, smile, and then sit down again, no more talking, and then I'm fine. <laughs> Whenever I show my people, I show the best pick one, and they say, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I found that it is the, the, the reaction, I guess, so every time I just show the best pick one. <laughs> well, he is the man of the moment now, so yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So, so uh, and then Oscar Knight. What was that like? <laughs> It was really fun. <laughs> so we arrived and it's pouring rain and then you walk down, it's just like it looks. You walk down this red carpet and there's just a big wall of people taking your pictures and they go up to little to the different news channels and they interview you and I mean it was just, it was overwhelming and so fun. I mean, I, there's so much more to say. Paul took a million pictures, just so they should worry. I, I think what, for me, to get to go to the Oscars with Paul and Millie is like, I mean, I can start crying just thinking about it. It was the greatest honor I could ever have to, to, to go with you. And we got to walk down the red carpet together. We got to sit together. We did not win, sadly, um, but that's okay because it was an incredible honor to be included in that group of filmmakers. And it's a career highlight, of course. Um, but if we had one, of course, all four of us would have gone on the stage and accepted it together. And that's just a really memorable experience. It was, it was uh, you know, just an absolutely magical night. We went with 16 people. We, had, we, got, we were able to get that many tickets, so we brought our editor, our cinematographer, the people who financed the movie from Concordia and New York Times. And um, it, was, it was just like, you know, an amazing evening. Really, it's a long day. We went into hair and makeup at nine o'clock in the morning. We arrived at the theater at 1.30. The telecast doesn't start till five. It finishes at eight. And then we went to the governor's ball and we left at 11. So it's a, it's a 14 hour day. And we weren't even in hair and makeup as long as movie stars. <laughs> they would have started their day at seven in the morning. Yeah, and Paula Millie, what was it like? Yeah, uh, being able to go to, being able Being able to go to the Oscar ceremony. Oh. Hello. Hello. Uh, being able to go to the Oscar ceremony is actually definitely highlight. Uh, whether we get it or not is uh, important, but not really that critical in my life. The important journey that we start this whole thing from the day that she invited us to be in the film to today. It's a long journey of friendship, I think. So uh, we appreciate the opportunity that uh, Laura brought us along and give us this chance to show everything, and share everything. So thank you so much, Laura. <laughs> I like, uh, enjoy and appreciate that, this journey. I think Paul said it all, yeah, thank you. Laura put her heart and show, and we didn't win, but I, I feel like we won already. Mm -hmm. And then we have the best memory, and then we have this friendship, 
and just um, I feel so thankful. Okay, let's see if there's any questions from the audience. Yeah. What was the budget meeting with our 